when you wake up, this is what you gotta do. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. Every day I'm here to motivate, lead the way in the AM. I don't want you to hear these words, I need you to feel what I'm saying. Oh, no. you gotta crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. In the building, Jimmy Wilson, motivation's coming, I can feel it. First thing that you need to do is crush the day before it crushes you. Giving with abundance is the easiest way to show the universe you're not afraid to fail. I think this is something that so many people deal with, right? The scarcity mentality, this idea that you could lose it all and life would be over. And I understand it is scary. Nobody wants to go without, right? Nobody wants to be in a situation where they can't provide for their family, their relationships, right? Themselves. Nobody wants that. But you also have to understand that if you're hoarding things, if you're you know living in that scarcity and you're afraid to give, the universe recognizes that. You know, if you subscribe to like religion and God and all those sorts of things, like God watches that. He knows if you're not giving unto his people, then he's not going to be giving unto you. The universe works the same way, right? Maybe if you're not even into God, like whatever you subscribe to, the universe as it is, the almighty energy, what so we live in, has a law of reciprocity. When you give, you can receive. And one thing that I really, really had to learn early on was that the more I gave, the more I was creating that opportunity to receive. But that giving does not create an immediate return. <clears throat> and that was really weird, right? I didn't understand that, you know, you can give, you can give value, you can give wisdom, you can give service, right? Being a servant. And you may not get an immediate return on that, right? It might not be monetary. So many people are used to this, like, hey, I do for you, you do for me, right? Tit for tat, even exchange of, of goods or services. But the truth is, Sometimes you give and you plant the seed and then the harvest comes way, way, way later. And it might not even come from that same seed, right? You might have planted a seed and then have a harvest come from a totally different situation, but not knowing that just your act of giving proved to the universe that you weren't afraid to fail, that you weren't afraid to lose it all, that you had enough abundance in your mindset and then your spirit that you were willing to give a piece of it to someone in need and that's a huge part of creating the success journey you're on if you want to really win be willing to give be willing to do for others be willing to show up and provide because in doing so that momentum will continue to pour into your cup over and over and over again until it overflows if you enjoyed this episode be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded success-driven individuals who want to crush it check the show notes and grab your crushing the day swag over at crushingtheday.com and remember crush the day before it crushes you you gotta crush the day before it crushes you